Hello and welcome to this video about the risk assessment for post-harvest water. Please keep in mind that the scenarios shown in this video are only examples to illustrate the general approach or standard procedure. Solutions and necessary measures may vary on a case-by-case -case basis. As noted in our video about pre-harvest water, many foodborne illnesses in fresh fruit and vegetables are associated with contaminated water. So risk assessments for pre- and post-harvest water are of critical importance. Producers should use industry guidelines, reference materials, and prevailing regulations when developing procedures. Some countries have additional requirements for post-harvest water, so it is essential to consider prevailing regulations. Water that comes into contact with fresh fruit and vegetable products during harvest and post-harvest must meet the microbial standard for drinking water. This includes ice and water used for cooling, transport, and washing. If water used during fruit and vegetable production, harvest, and post-harvest activities is recirculated, there must be an established frequency for changing the water based on applicable parameters such as pH, efficacy of antimicrobial water additives, turbidity, and visual evaluations. Depending on the water source and quality, post-harvest water may be treated to reduce microbial contamination. Water treated with antimicrobial additives, ozone, or other chemicals during harvest and post-harvest activities, for example for cooling and in flumes, must be monitored. Monitoring shall be conducted at a frequency established in a risk assessment. The monitoring frequency depends on the type of use, treatment, amount of antimicrobial product, and how frequently the treatment might need to be added to the water system. The values that are measured during monitoring shall be compared with the established allowable parameters, which are generally available from the manufacturer or prevailing regulations. If analysis results are outside the allowable thresholds, corrective action shall be taken. This could include adding more treatment, changing the water, or re-evaluating whether the treatment and system are effective. Indoor primary production facilities and other water storage systems must maintain a supply of water fit for their intended purposes. The water in all storage systems shall not compromise food safety, hand washing, equipment, or post-harvest washing. As post-harvest water management is a complex topic, please seek additional information. Many countries have regulations that govern the use of water in post-harvest applications. You can find additional resources in the video description. Universities, extension educators, grower support agencies, and commodity commissions are also excellent sources of additional information. We hope you learned more about the risk assessment for post-harvest water. Thank you for watching.